Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com. Just remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Let's talk week 8 of the National Football League and week 9 of NCAA College Football. First, let me say last week was a terrible week for me. I only had one win. The honor roll for last week goes to Larry Sprinkler, who took... Michigan State, great win. Uh, he received seven and a half points, and of course, Michigan State beat Wisconsin. And of course, he had some other picks. He took the Bears, got one point. Bears won the game. He took Pittsburgh, laid three and a half. He was three and one. Excellent record. Larry gets the top spot for last week. Also, honorable mention to F Ball Mikey. Uh, he took TCU. And he laid 43 and a half points. And TCU was able to win that game 69 to nothing. So uh, honorable mention, the F ball, Mikey. Let's get at it with this week's picks. Let's dive in. The first, you know, the nation's looking at LSU against Alabama. They feel that that will determine who the best team in college football is. Well, let me tell you, out here on the West Coast, particularly out here in the Bay Area, people feel that the best team in the country might be the team that, against an unbeaten top 20 team, rushed for 400 yards last week. Let me just point out that this team also has arguably the best quarterback in college football. And that's the Stanford Cardinal, my alma mater. They're going down to USC. I like Stanford. Minus seven and a half over USC at USC. I also like Tom Brady and the New England Patriots on the road laying three points over the Pittsburgh Steelers at Pittsburgh. Let me just point out that Pittsburgh's linebackers, they're great against the run. They really know how to rough you up against the run. The problem is when you spread the field, these guys tend to get a little bit exposed in pass coverage. And, of course, um, Brady has two tight ends, Hernandez, Krasnowski, and uh, Brady, quite frankly, owns the Pittsburgh Steelers. I like New England laying the three. I like Cleveland getting nine points over the San Francisco 49ers in San Francisco. Cleveland's defense better than advertised. I like in the Dallas Philly game the under 50 and a half points. Dallas's defense better than advertised. I think Dallas will be able to slow Philly down. This is an NFC East matchup. These two teams know each other. I don't think it's going to be high scoring. Also, in the New England-Pittsburgh game, I think the market is overreacting to Big Ben throwing up, uh, you know, passing yards against the poorest secondary last week. I like the under 52 and a half points in that New England versus Pittsburgh game. Also, in the Redskins versus Bills game, I like the under 45 and a half points. I just don't see any team being able to run up a big score against this Redskin defense. Finally, and we're flooding with a lot of picks this week, finally, I like the Baltimore Ravens laying 12 and a half points against the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, Baltimore just got embarrassed on national TV. Arizona is simply awful on the road. I think this is a statement game. I think Joe Flacco wants to atone for his sins. I think they take it out on the Arizona Cardinals. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments for me here on YouTube. Visit us at PredictFootball blogspot.com and leave your picks um, if you have the best week 
I will certainly mention you in the next video. Thanks for watching.